So today it happened again with a little bit more chaos, which I humbly suggest is all thanks to the new changes in the highway code rules. So today I was behind a car approaching a crossroads junction and in front of that car there was a group of teenagers waiting to cross the road and the lady in the car in front of me gestured for them to cross the road either because she's a kind lady or maybe it's because she thinks that this is what she's supposed to do in the new highway code rules. And that is because the new highway code updated version states when people are crossing or waiting to cross at a junction, other traffic should give way. If people have started crossing and traffic wants to turn into the road, the people crossing have priority and the traffic should give way. Now this particular scenario was exasperated somewhat because one or two of them were a little bit, let's say, rowdy and liked the fact that they could just walk out in front of the car regardless because they now felt like they had priority. However, another vehicle turning into the road, as shown here, either didn't see them or didn't care for the fact that they had priority or didn't care for the fact that they just walked out without any consideration for the cars. Either way, suffice to say, there was a very near collision between this car coming in at some speed, albeit he did stop eventually, but nonetheless a near collision between at least six or eight individuals crossing the road, two of which being very rowdy, gesturing to this car that they now had priority. And they went across the road and everybody then went on their way. But this cannot be an isolated incident because I've seen this more than once now in just the last few days and it's still very early days. So perhaps people are going to learn this new priority and adapt to it and everybody will comply with it. And according to figures from the Department for Transport, 4,290 pedestrians and 4,700 cyclists were killed or seriously injured on Britain's roads from the start of 2020 to June 2021. So it's very clear that something needs to be done to reduce these numbers because they are quite frankly horrific and they need to come down and changes need to be implemented. But if these changes are going to work, then there needs to be a huge awareness campaign and it shouldn't be relying on channels like mine to communicate these changes to all of you guys watching, which I'm really grateful for. But if people are not aware of these changes and aware of the new priorities and are going to comply with these priorities wholesale, then you're going to get the situations like the one that I've seen today, where one lady was clearly determined to follow these new rules. The teenagers, with respect, were determined to boast about these new priorities that they had crossing the road. And the other driver, well, he either didn't know about the rules, didn't care for the rules, or frankly didn't see the teenagers crossing the road at all. So again, I call upon you to send me your experiences so that everybody can see just how this is panning out in reality. Maybe some drivers are watching that cover lots and lots of miles and have much more chance to capture this on dash cam footage because I would love for everyone to be aware of these rules if they are here to stay because it is right to say that these numbers, fatalities and injuries need to come down for pedestrians and cyclists because it is right to say that they are vulnerable road users. So as I say, please do send me your contributions and thank you for watching.